with New York Times best-selling author James Grady to discuss his novel Mad Dogs, an unusual tale of five ex-spies on the run. James, tell us a little bit about the basic story of Mad Dogs. Mad Dogs opens in a top secret facility, a black site, a place that you can only describe as being the CIA's secret insane asylum. Locked within its walls, both for their protection and for the protection of society, are five American heroes. Four men, one woman. They have been through and done the best and worst that can happen in the covert wars to keep America safe. They come into their normal lives one day only to find that their inner sanctum has been penetrated and that they have just been framed for a murder. Being logical, highly trained, intelligent operatives, they decide they must escape. Their major problem is not getting out of the insane asylum. Their major problem is that when they leave, they take their crazy with them. That puts us on a road trip on an ensemble tumbling down the East Coast that I've never seen the like of in fiction before. What kind of research did you do for this? For years I was an investigative reporter covering the intelligence community. And in the course of that you learn more than you actually get a chance to report for a lot of reasons, some good, some bad. I spent a lot of time going back and looking at the secret history of America. Things that we did that we don't read about in the headlines. I was able to go into things like Bosnia, the problems in Africa, a lot of time with Al-Qaeda, and match those with fictional characters in a way that the character's story, as well as the hidden history of our country, drive the plot forward for the reader. Your story revolves around government agencies like the CIA. Absolutely. The thing that is going on now that makes Mad Dogs particularly, I think, important and enjoyable for readers is we are undergoing an intelligence revolution. The CIA is being completely changed. The Pentagon is being completely changed. How we gather intelligence and what we need to know about for our national survival is literally a changing environment every day. To get a look at that, I wanted to go to one of the extremes of the forces that we have out there. Madness and insanity certainly plays a role in our American daily lives. What did you find particularly challenging in writing characters who are mentally insane? What is it like to walk a mile in the shoes of someone who gave up their sanity to sacrifice for the United States and for our citizens? I spent a year and a half with these characters. One of the hardest things, and I think this is true for any novelist, is that moment when you write the end and you have to say goodbye to these people. The fact that these five characters were all insane and quite vocal and active about it made it a little harder for me to let them go because they didn't want to let go of me. James, thank you so much for joining us. It was great to be here. Mad Dogs is teeming with refreshing humor, fast-paced adventure, and intense drama. It offers a different perspective on human experiences and is a great read. So pick up your copy today.